you've got the general idea of the hashing formula. One formula, hash is the primary index value, gets a row hash, looks at the map, takes the row hash with it. Now let's switch gears. Imagine that we had a non-unique primary index, last name, and everything was hashed, and here's how the data laid out. Notice that all of the Smiths went to AMP1. Why? When the first Smith was hashed, they go, that's a seven. They counted over seven buckets and they go, that goes to AMP1, and it came to AMP1, brought the seven with it. The next Smith, they did the math again. They don't go, oh yeah, I remember you. No, they do the math each time, but a Smith's going to hash to a seven every time. Every Smith's going to AMP1. That's why anytime you have a non-unique primary index, you want good distribution because if you don't get good distribution, all the data is going to be on one or two amps. This is actually acceptable, but it's not perfect. That's what I need you to understand right now. Any like value that's hashed goes to the same place, and this is how Teradata sorts the data, so it's going to be grouped together. We've seen how the unique primary index lays that data out so well, and we understand the hashing process. I want you to now take a look at this picture, because we're switching gears. We've got a non-unique primary index on last name. So as you can see, each last name was hashed, and the data is not distributed evenly at all. Why? Because all like values get the same row hash as the Smiths all got a seven. And as they came to AMP1, the first Smith in was given a uniqueness value of one. So its row ID is seven comma one. The next Smith that comes in, the AMP says, oh my goodness, I've already got a row in this table with a row hash of seven. We must have a duplicate. I'll give you a seven comma two, and that's its row ID. So as each row comes in, they got seven three, seven four, seven five. Notice that Gonzalez got a one because that's a unique value. It's the first one in the table that it's got for that row hash. And that's the way it works. The brilliance behind this is that all like data goes to the same amp and it's going to be sorted by the row ID so it's all going to be stored right there together. That's why even though you've got a non-unique primary index, it's still a one amp, one second retrieve every time. Just remember, friends, row hash plus uniqueness value is the row ID. 32 bits for the row hash, 32 bits for the uniqueness value. Or four bytes and four bytes, eight bytes is in front of every Teradata row, guaranteed. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within.